Hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here and welcome back to Carbs and Farm. So, I made a lot of uh, grass baits and my first intention was to uh, wrap them and make silage bales. Uh, but then I realized I do have a fermenting silo which can turn these into loose silage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test to do that. Uh, we are in August, so now we are in uh, some kind of harvesting season. Uh, let's see here, one of my fields. This one here, the canola field. If we go over here, should be ready. Yeah, this is ready to harvest. Uh, this big fellow here is also ready to harvest, and there's a contract on it. Uh, but with the new updates on the game, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Uh, I did the harvesting contract a couple of days ago and yeah, I barely made it, so to speak. Uh, this one I'm just gonna send home. Let's see, let's send him home about there. Bam. Um, so yeah, this guy here, uh, I'm gonna go back and forward uh, to my fermenting silo. Let's see, do I have it in operating position? There we go. Good, good. So for new viewers, my, my main goal now on this uh, Let's Play is to make a whole lot of cereal pallets and with the 50 uh, 50 pallet limit we have now uh, the creator of this challenge have uh, lowered it uh, so now I only need to make what is it 40 40 times 2 so yeah that's doable but then I cannot have any other pallets you know I can uh, I cannot have any fertilizer or herbicide or seed pallets flying around so that I did the last episode I cleared out the whole map more or less for all uh, loose pallets oh there we go we are full so I'm gonna get this one to uh, my fermenting silo and yeah I did find a really nice harvester which I'm gonna try out and it's really cheap it's yeah cheap as chips <laughs> let's see yeah I know I'm using this worker system a lot but I like it so I'm gonna send him up to here more or less there we go and this guy yeah this is my uh, fertilizer buddy so he's flying around with this setup which I really like. I use this setup also on FS19 with the Quernland spreader on the back and the Vardastad extra fertilizer tank on the front. So now with position farming, oh, I can see where I'm going. So I'm gonna do one headland here and then I'm gonna set off a worker. I think it's really strange that even if I'm overspreading a lot now, as you can see. But still, the the field, if you look at bottom left side, strangely, I don't get the edge of the field. Hmm, that's a strange one. Let's see on this edge. Oh, here we go. You know what? Let's turn this off a little bit. And let's go into... Do, 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 do. Where are we? There we are. Oh no, I need to go. Ah, oh, that's the thing about precision farming. Uh, with precision farming and fertilizing contracts, you don't see it. <laughs> uh, that's because you haven't done any soil sample on it. And you don't see it on this menu either. Because I have precision farming. The only way of seeing it is on the minimap here. Yeah, all right, all right, let's continue. There we go. So I'm gonna do this, and yeah, I'm gonna get hold of my uh, harvester. I uh, might buy it, uh, I'll have to see. Uh, we're gonna get the whole lot of silage now, and the silage, 
I haven't decided what to do with yet, either to give to my cows or just keep it and sell it when the price is right. But yeah, all these grass bales are gonna give me a lot of silage. Yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright buddies, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Last load of bales. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I discovered something which is uh, <laughs> something I don't know. Uh, I think it has something with position farming and do. Uh, but anyway, let's see here now. Uh, grass silo. I got 378,000. So I'm gonna make silage out of that, and to do so, I need to have it silage on storing, and I need to activate that one. So that's gonna turn into silage, while the hay, I'm not gonna activate the hay because I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna need the hay uh, if I'm gonna continue with feeding my big cows with hay. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, slurry. I've been also uh, going up and down two or three loads with slurry. And yeah, it seems like we are also getting bonuses for slurry. If we go into the good old position farming menu, and if you look on the environmental score, which is 72, that's for the whole map. Um, and you can see your environmental score increases your sell price by 7%. I thought that was only the crops that you harvest, but apparently it also is applicable for slurry. So if we start overloading here now, you can see in the top right corner, we will get <laughs> some bonuses for this. <laughs> there we go. 26,000 for the slurry and 1,700 in environmental score rewards. I didn't know this, uh, or I didn't know this, <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of interesting. And I'm in my mind, that's probably also this, you know, the case with. Um, with the, the good old uh, manure. I think I have uh, some manure, well, 64. I still got 200,000 liter with slurry. So I think since I'm not using the slurry for any fertilizing um, and the price are pretty good now, I think I'm just gonna continue. Uh, so I'm gonna send him back to the farm. Bam! About there. There we go. And this guy is finished. Silage is being... Well, grass is being fermented. And yeah, I released myself the harvester. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see, let's do the same with this guy. I'm gonna send him just on the backside of the slurry tanker. Bam, like so. Um, yeah, I brought my Massey down with the trailer because now we're gonna do some harvesting. Where are we there, buddy? There we are, the case IH 2008 2588. Now this one is cheap as chips. <laughs> it's not the biggest harvester, but the uh, the grain tank is pretty big. Uh, horsepower is okay, uh, but yeah, it's cheap. It's really cheap. I hope uh, it turned out here in the used vehicle sale, uh, but it didn't, so I've leased it. I could have bought it, but uh, I'm I'm not. 
uh, doing that many harvesters, harvesters, <laughs> harvesting on my fields. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, the case axial flow, two wheel drive or four wheel drive, and it's only sixty and sixty nine thousand, and it's twelve thousand liter capacity. If we go for you know a standard in game one, we uh, this one has ten thousand liter, the John Deere. This is almost 300,000. Uh, the CAX, I cannot speak to this. The case axial flow 7150, uh, 10,000 liter capacity, 300,000 to buy. Uh, the horsepower is a little bit higher, of course, but yeah, this one here, this is the same capacity, 12,000, 357,000. So yeah cheap as chips oh yeah and there's a load of uh, different options the bin uh, you can choose between the 7000 liter 10,000 or 12,000 liter wheel brands and you can have standard or duals the logo I think that's the 35 year on the side there side protector that's something on the right side here behind the front wheels there we go. Some kind of protection, sir. I don't know what. Engine setup 285 or. Let's see, where's the. There we go, 305. Uh, the pipe, you can have standard or a long bone. And then you can choose between red or black on the guardrails there. And the sign color does the bin, the top. Uh, so in total. 82,000 <laughs> that's gotta be cheap as chips so I leased it I paid 4,000 uh, to lease it so now I need a header and that is usually a tricky one so I'm gonna go for a header with the two high control for harvesters I haven't tried that on FS22 yet and I think I'm going to go with this one, eight and a half meter. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to lease that one. And uh, it's not far to my field, but I need a trailer. So the easiest way then to find a trailer is when you are on the header, press R3, bam, combination. And there you see, <laughs> this header fits the case actual flow, but it also fits other ones, so don't worry. Oh, and uh, trailers, uh, one of these guys. So I'm going to take the cheapest one, this one. Nothing special here. I'm going to lease it for $300. And let's jump into this guy and let's see if we can do this. Oh, what is, oh, I wonder, all right, it hardly, oh, the reaction on it is pretty bad, it could be my controller, there we go, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if this, uh, oh man, will this work, uh, let's lower it, let's disconnect it, poop, into place, yeah, I think I got it. So the feel is just on the back there. But the entrance to the shop there, yeah, I need a trailer. Oh, I forgot to see if there's a trailer hitch there. Yeah, there's a pin hitch. Come on, buddy. Connect. There we go. Ooh, can we make the turn? Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? What else is new? Oh, yeah, I see there's a lot of new maps coming out now. And I'm, me personally, I'm waiting for Stone Valley. And it seems like Lancy Boy is more or less finished with the map. Uh, I see one, well, several of the big guys. Let's see, are uh, doing map tours already of the, uh, you know, not the finished product, but the beta version of the map. Oh, watch it. I have crop destruction. Come on. 
Uh, you know what, the next let's play I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna have all these things. Uh, I know it makes it, it, makes it uh, interesting, but on this let's play I have everything. I have seasons, I have uh, position farming, I have crop destruction, I have weeds, I have everything on. So yeah, it's um, it's challenging, but um, let's see if we can do it. I'm a little bit worried about the cereal uh, thing, and that's because if you look on my cereal factory, well, there we go. Uh, honey and raisins are not gonna be any problem. I think corn also now it's gonna be good because I have three fields with corn. Uh, but oats, oats, because I'm thinking of buying uh, two of these buildings. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's uh, let's jump over here. There we go, cereal factory. So I think I'm gonna buy one more of these. But the thing is that um, yeah, I'm gonna run out of oats. And yeah, since we're doing seasons, I cannot plant any oats before March. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see if this. Oh, there we go. Oh, the <laughs> my workers. <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, I like this system. I like it. I use it a lot. And another thing I see is coming up is we might get a batch uh, of some kind of batch. Let's see, let's see. I like this tanker. Let's see when I start to fill this. Look at the decals. Boop. He says. Boop. There we go. Um, well, you there, buddy. There we go. Uh, yeah, contracts. I'm sorry, I'm jumping in and out now. But uh, I suddenly realized that uh, I've done 96 contracts. And I think there is like a badge you get for 100 contracts. So at least I'm going to do that. That's for sure. Unfold the harvester. All right, buddy. All right. Let's do this. And now also I need to... I need to take into consideration the uh, the crop destruction. So I need to go this way with the pipe uh, out this way, and I need to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if this works. There we go. Too high control for harvester. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh man. This is nice. I like it. Good, good. 32 kilometers an hour. And cheap as chips. Harvester. I like it. Oh, 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 oh. I totally forgot the environmental score. Last time I did a harvest, the environmental score really went up. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. So the thing is that this field, which I'm harvesting now, uh, I've done soil sampling, I've done everything, but you can see I'm not getting the envi environmental score on it like I do on this field. And that's because this is a part of the periphery. And the periphery score is this one, 79. So, yeah, I hope this will uh, get up to a hundred once I've finished harvesting this one. It should do, actually. <laughs> I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna harvest this one and let's see if the environmental score is uh, gone up from 79. And yeah, the canola itself, I don't know why I seeded uh, canola here. I do regret I didn't think about doing oats. 
but if the price is good I'm gonna sell it and then we can also see if we get uh, oh I'm missing a lot here buddies and then we can see if we get uh, some bonus environmental bonus yeah let's just check now still 79 the weed control is bad and the tillage is bad even though I don't have any weed sir <laughs> all right all right buddies I'll uh, see you in a bit so there we go the harvest went <laughs> pretty quick and good um, I did have, have some struggle with uh, offloading my harvester into my trailer and yeah there is uh, not a trick but a short tip on if you cannot get it to unload into a trailer uh, as I understood on FS19 uh, when this happened it was a height issue uh, if the pipe is really high and the trailer is lo really low, uh, these two triggers won't find each other. So, like you see now, I have canola inside my harvester, but it won't unload. Uh, but if you, you know, it sometimes it's uh, just a small thing that you need to do, uh, like this, go a little bit higher with the harvester and now you see it's offloading so I think it's the same on FS22 a height issue <laughs> but there we go and this harvester really worked out nice uh, yeah I liked it I liked it a lot I do regret that I didn't buy it but anyway um, do, 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 do. and the daily cost on it is oh no 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 is not that shabby so I think uh, if I can get this off oh come on pop in place there buddy come on pop it no why won't this header pop into place Alright, so will I lose it if I take a 180 now? Alright, alright, it stays on. <laughs> so I might keep this harvester, I'm gonna have it on lease. Uh, so in case I get, yeah, let's turn it off uh, so we don't use it. So the daily cost will not be that bad, actually. I'm going to keep it. Uh, how much did we get? We got... 27,000. And I saw the price are pretty good right now. So I'm going to sell this canola. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to... The next thing I need to do with that field is... Uh, I'm going to mulch it. Let's see, let's see, well, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, you know what? Another strange thing is uh, one of my neighbor field. Let's see if I jump into, well, whatever, this guy. Yeah, I need to pick up my eggs. I need to keep the pallets off, even though I don't think these are counted as pallets when they're on the outdoor trailer I haven't tested that too much this field here uh, which is not mine this is my neighbor field but there hasn't been anything happening on this field <laughs> I don't know if my neighbor field has passed away but uh, it's been like this since day one and yeah I played on this a pretty long time now I played 147 hours I played five years and yeah it's been like this since day one so I don't know what's going on here I know Comston farm got an update a couple of days ago uh, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna update the, the map because then I need a new save game and I have too many hours to and too many things going on here to start all over again so that's not gonna happen 
So what I need to do... Oh, yeah, the score! The environmental score. Uh, it was on... 79, was it? Oh, no, no, not that one. Uh, yeah. 79 or 76? I think it was on 79. Um, do, 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 do. Let's check now. The environmental score on the periphery is 78. <laughs> so it went down one point. All right, all right. Weeds and tillage are bad. So it might be that, you know, since the periphery is all of this, even though uh, most of this is non-arable fields, I cannot do any soil sample on these areas. Uh, you know, except this one, of course. So yeah, that's uh, that's a puzzle. But uh, yeah, another thing is that uh, where's my slurry, man? There we go. Yeah. So I'm uh, still continuing doing slurry runs. Uh, the one I showed you, I got 1,700 in bonus. Last trip I went up, uh, I got 1,800 in bonus. So then I thought, well, maybe the uh, environmental bonus uh, went up. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's uh, let's uh, send him up again. Let's go, there, buddy. Let's go. Uh, let's do like so and then go here. Now we can see environmental score is still 7%. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys up there and let's see if we get more now. So here we go. Let's see. Let's hire a worker with the mulcher. And the mulching part of it doesn't, you know. Um, it doesn't have any effect on the environmental score, but it has effect on the yield. Uh, so yeah, complicated. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see now. Uh, I still got 50,000 liter, and the environmental bonus should be the same, 7%. So last time I did 1,700, and now I got 1,000, almost 1,900. I got the same, more or less. Yeah, I got the same for the slurry. So, yeah, a little bit of a puzzle also there. Uh, next thing here is the canola. Let's just double check here. Your environmental score increases your sell price by 7%. Yeah, so that's the same. Uh, so let's see uh, what we get for the canola. I'm not so interested in the price. <laughs> Oh, there we go, 28,000 and 2,000 in bonus. Oh, I'm really looking forward to get this uh, environmental score up to 100. And I think the, the most you can get is 15%. So yeah, that, that's, that's actually a lot when you think about it, if you have a really big field. Uh, a big field with potatoes <laughs> and you have environmental score of 15 percent oh man that's gonna be good but anyway i think that's gonna be it for this episode um the next thing now is in uh, let's see uh, august october yeah in two months time uh, i should be ready to harvest my corn fields and then we can get rolling with the uh, cereal factory and the cereal productions and i'm really eager to see how many pallets every day it, it's producing if it's like three or four pallets every day or every month it's gonna take a hot minute and I'm not saying I'm tired of constant but I need some kind of uh, environmental change 
<laughs> I've been playing on this map now for ages, uh, just waiting for Stone Valley. I know there's a lot more nice new fields or no, maps out there already. Uh, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But if this serial thing is taking too long time, uh, I think uh, I'm ready to change actually. Or if, you know, at least I'm going to have two factories running. Yeah, I need that. I need two factories. Because I'm pretty sure uh, the production things of cereal uh, is going to be slow. I'm going to fill up this one with hay. So I'm ready for feeding my... Oh, where's hay? There we go. Uh, feeding my cows tomorrow morning. I got the silage. Where's the other guys? Uh, this guy is stuck. And we need to... Yeah, we need to prepare this field. I don't think I'm gonna do anything more than mulch it, fertilize it. I'm not gonna cultivate it because I have a direct drill. Um, using a direct drill is better than cultivating. <laughs> And it doesn't need plowing. Weeds are growing, of course. So I'm gonna wait until the weeds come up. Do, do, do the weeds come up before I plant anything? Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> this guy and this guy, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time, either here or on a different map. Who knows? Who knows? Bye bye.